everyone. In this video, we will discuss about Huckel rule and aromaticity and we will also discuss what are the necessary conditions required for a compound to be aromatic, anti-aromatic or non-aromatic in nature. And before going to discuss these terms, let us discuss what are the learning outcomes of the present video. After completion of this video, you shall be able to explain Huckel rule, learn about the aromaticity of the organic compound, understand the difference between aromatic, non-aromatic and anti-aromatic compounds. You shall be understand aromaticity in benzenoid and non-benzenoid ring system and you will also learn about some special cases. What do you understand by term aromaticity? As we know that the term aromatic was given to those compounds which are having characteristic order or aroma which is similar to benzene-like compound. But nowadays chemists have shown completely different methods of deciding whether a particular compound can be of aromatic or non-aromatic or it can be of anti-aromatic of type. But for a compound to become a aromatic, anti-aromatic or non-aromatic, it must be satisfied certain conditions so that we can say that the given particular compound can be of aromatic, anti-aromatic or non-aromatic. The aromatic compounds, they also contain continuous conjugation of pilot electron as we can say in benzene in benzene it is cyclic in nature and this is also having alternate double bonds and single bonds which are present in conjugation due to this conjugation continuous conjugation that ring is having continuous pi electron above and below the cyclic ring so that it will get stabilized due to the high resonance energy and instead of giving addition reactions similar to alkenes or alkynes, these benzene type compounds which resembles with the benzene, here we can say benzene, they undergo substitution reaction instead of giving the addition reaction. Now, let us discuss about the term aromaticity. We can say that the property of exhibiting aromatic character is termed as aromaticity yeah, Aromaticity, in fact, a property of sp2 hybridized planar ring in which the p orbitals 1 is present on the corners of this ring allows cyclic delocalization of pi electron that is called as aromaticity. Now, let us discuss the criteria for aromaticity. In order to a compound that it must be aromatic in nature, it should follow the following important condition and one of the important condition that it should be cyclic in nature. As we can see in the below examples that all compounds are cyclic in nature. Let us take example of benzene. In benzene, all the corners, they represent the carbon atom which are joined by each other forming a cyclic ring. Similarly, if we are taking the other compound, like we are taking the example of pyrrole, in case of pyrrole, each corner, these four corners, they represent the carbon atom, while this nitrogen, it also involved in the formation of cyclic ring, that is the five-member ring. Similarly, in case of furan, there is also forming five-member ring, including oxygen atom, and in case of thiophene also, there is also having a five-member ring, which includes also sulfur in the formation of cyclic ring. Second important condition for a compound to become an aromatic that it should be planar in nature. Yani it means that it should have pi electron cloud which should be in conjugation above and below the cyclic ring without any interruption in that one. That means it should be in properly in conjugation. There should not be the any interruption in the pi electron cloud which is located above and below the cyclic rings in all the cases. And one of the most important condition for a compound to become aromatic that it must follow the Huckel rule. Any it should have at least 
फोर एंड प्लस टू पाई इलेक्ट्रॉन इन दाइक् रिंग प्रेजेंट एज वी कैन सी इन केस ऑफ बैंजीन वी हैव थ्री पाई बॉन्ड इट मीन वी हैव थ्री पाई बॉन्ड इट मीन दे आर इक्वल टू दिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉन सिमिलरली इन केस ऑफ नाइट्रोजन वी हैव टू डबल बॉन्ड दैट मीन इक्वल टू फोर इलेक्ट्रॉन बट टू इलेक्ट्रॉन विल बी गिवेन बाई द नाइट्रोजन that also concern in case of delocalization that's why that will also follow the 4 and plus 2 pi electron similarly in case of furan also and thiophen also then we can say that aromatic character is not only limited to the benzene type of structure yeah we can say only those compound which are having six carbon atom which are joining with each other that can be also possible in case of those compound which are having Five member ring, yeah, we can say other than the carbon atoms, they also contain some other atom like nitrogen, oxygen, sulfur, including in the ring to form the cyclic ring. So that compound can also be of aromatic nature, and they can also follow the Haeckel rule to become aromatic in nature. Now let us discuss Haeckel rule. the aromatic character of cyclic compounds can be explained in terms of huckel rule and according to this rule the cyclic pi molecular orbital ya we can say electron cloud it can be formed by the overlap of p orbital that must contain 4 and plus 2 pi electron where n is equal to integer value that means it should have 0 1 2 3 and so on etc value this is referred to as huckel rule and we can also say that cyclic compound they should contain number of electrons pi electron that should be equal to 2 6 10 14 18 2 pi electrons within the cyclic ring these types of compound they must follow the huckel rule ya yeah, we can also define huckel rule in terms of another way that all the aromatic compound they must contain odd number of electron pairs as we can say in case of benzene we can say that benzene we have three double bond three double bond means one pi bond equal to two electron that means it is having six pi electron in case of this cyclic ring yeah we can say that it is equal to the pi one electron that is three electron pairs it is having in case of benzene that is equal to the odd number if we are taking the pi electron that number should be equal to the 2 6 10 14 18 22 5 electron but if we are considering in case of electron pair that number must be odd as we can say that in case benzene we have three electron pair one in each pi bond similarly in case of pyrrole they also contains the six pi six electrons in case of cyclic ring that's why they are also aromatic in nature because in case of two pi bond as we can see in structure of pyrrole we add is having two pi bond that have four pi electron which is in present ring along with this four pi electron which is uh, from the two double bond nitrogen also consists of lone pi electron that also includes in the formation of pi electron cloud ever and blow the ring of pyrrole that's why this also have this also follow the Huckel rule. Similarly, furan and thiophen ring structures can also follow the Huckel rule. Now let us discuss various terms of aromaticity. Whether compound will be of aromatic, or it will be of anti-aromatic, or it will be of non-aromatic. There are some conditions that must be fulfilled by the compound. so that they can become aromatic anti aromatic or non aromatic in nature first we let us take aromatic in nature those compound can be of aromatic in nature that must follow the certain condition first important condition for a compound to become aromatic that it should be cyclic in nature second one of the important condition for this compound that all the atoms present in the ring they must be sp2 hybridized atom ya yeah, we can say sp hybridized instead of sp3 hybridized atom and they should also having planar structure ya yeah, we can say they should be in the flat type of structures 
and one of the most important condition for a aromatic compound that they should follow the Huckel rule that means 4 and plus 2 pi electron should be followed by the compound to become aromatic and they must have electrons that is pi electron in number 2, 6, 10, 14, 18, 22 in case of cyclic ring. So those compounds that follows the all these conditions, they must be aromatic in nature as in case of benzene yeah other compound similarly if we are discussing about the anti aromatic term those compound with these three condition which are also satisfied by the aromatic compound that must also be satisfied by the compound which are anti aromatic nature yani that means they should be cyclic in nature they should also having sp2 hybridized atoms in the cyclic ring they should also having plana in nature but instead of following the 4 and plus 2 pi electron, that means having 2, 6, 10, 14, 18, 22 pi electron, they must follow the 4 and pi electron rule in which they are having 4, 8, 12, 16, 20 pi electrons within the cyclic ring that must be multiple of the 4 and we can say that these will follow the 4 and pi electron rule that means when all these conditions will be satisfied by a compound that must be of anti-aromatic type of compound. Similarly, if we are taking the example of non-aromatic compound, then all the conditions that must not be satisfied by the compound, that means it should not be cyclic, that is it is non-cyclic in nature, it should not possess sp2 hybridized, but instead of that one, they should have sp3 hybridized or atom and they should all also having non-planar structure when they are satisfying these conditions these type of compounds are referred to as non-aromatic in nature or discuss aromatic character of some cyclic compound now let us take example of monocyclic system now what is monocyclic system monocyclic systems are those systems in which atoms are Combining with each other to form a closed cyclic ring as we can see in case of benzene. Similarly, if we are taking the example of heterocyclic compounds like we can say pyrrole, furon, thiophene, these are also referred to as monocyclic system because in this case also four corners represents the four color atom while fifth member of the ring that in case of pyrrole it is nitrogen, in case of furon it is oxygen. In case of thiophene, it is sulfur. All five members, they are joining with each other to form a closed cyclic ring. That's why they are also referred to as monocyclic system. We can say that all the monocyclic systems shown here, in this case, they must follow the Huckel rule condition. What is the Huckel rule condition? That they must be having 4 and plus 2 phi electron system in case of cyclic system. as we are taking example of benzene we can see that in case of benzene they are having three pi bond three pi one means they are having six pi electrons we can when we are applying this in case of four and plus two pi rule we can see that four and plus two is equal to six and four and is equal to four that means n will be equal to one so that's why it is value is coming in the integer value that's why benzene will be aromatic in nature similarly if we are having six electrons in case of pyrrole furon thiophene they must also be aromatic in nature because they are of type of heterocyclic type of system that is also example of monocyclic how it is possible that in case of and pyrrole furon thiophene they have six number as we can see that in case of pyrrole, we have two double bond. Two double bond means they are having four pi electrons from the two double bond, while remaining two electrons will come from the lone pair present on the nitrogen, oxygen, and the sulfur. In that case, they will also contribute in case of delocalization of the pi electron cloud that will be available above and below the ring present. That must be without interruption that's why we can say that pyrrole furon thiophene that must also be aromatic in nature
Now let us see example of cyclooctatetraene. Whether this compound will be aromatic in nature, non-aromatic, or anti-aromatic, that we can explain in this video. Now let us see example this one. This cyclooctatetraene, it is having four pi bond. It means that will having eight pi electron in case of this cyclooctatetraene. But if when we are applying this in case of 4 and plus 2 pi electron, then we will get that 4 and equal to 6, we will get the fraction value. That means it will not follow the Huckel rule because according to Huckel rule, the n value must be integer. It should be 0, 1, 2, 3. But in case of cyclooctatetraene, because we have 8 pi electron in case of cyclooctatetraene, value is coming fraction that is 1.5. So that must not be aromatic in nature. Now let us take whether it will be anti-aromatic or non-aromatic in nature. Now come to this one. If you are seeing that all the pi bonds present in case of cyclooctatetraene, they are present in conjugation. That means they are having single and double bond present in alternate position or they must be planar in nature. They are cyclic in nature and they should also have in planar in nature. But in actual structure of cyclooctatetraene, it is not planar in structure, but it is having similar to the tough shape structure. That's why this is not flat or planar type structure. That's why it must not follow the rule of Huckel root. In case of it appears that it should have 4n. 4n means for when we are applying the, this electron that it should have 8 electron that means it should be having anti-aromatic but due to the tough shape structure this compound is not anti-aromatic but it is the non-aromatic type of structure due to the non-planarness in case of this compound. In case of previous slides we have discussed the aromatic character of the monocyclic systems. Now in this slides we will discuss about the aromatic character of the fuse ring system because it is not necessary that it can be only possible in case of monocyclic system but aromatic character can also be possible in case of fuse ring system. Now let us discuss what is fuse ring system. If we are taking these examples we can see that fuse ring systems are those ring systems in which two or three rings are fused with each other in which we, as we get the example of naphthalene here two carbon atoms are fused between the two benzene rings that's why this is referred to as a fuse ring system in which we can see that we have five double bonds are present in case of naphthalene it means that is having 10, 10 pi electron that must follow the 4n plus 2 pi electron because According to 4n plus 5 electron, number of pi electrons should be 2, 6, 10, 14, 18, etc. Similarly, if we are taking the example of anthracene, which is the tricyclic system, also example of fusing system, where three benzene rings are, these are fused with each other. In case of this one, four car carbon atoms are joining with between the two fuse rings. Uh, that is the example of anthracene. And in case of we can see that here seven pi bonds are present. Seven pi bond means we are having number of pi electrons in case of anthracene that is equal to 14 pi electrons. That must also follow the Huckel rule that is 4n plus pi 2 because according to 4n plus 2 pi electron rule, number of electrons should be equal to 2, 6, 10, 14, and so on. So that will also having aromatic character in case of fusing system. Now let us take some examples of compounds in which we can identify whether compound is aromatic, anti-aromatic or non-aromatic type of category. Now sub, first of all we are taking the example of cyclopropyl. In first example we have seen this is the cyclic ring in which we can see that it is having only one pi bond which means it is having two pi electrons in it. So, it should follow the Huckel rule according to the 4n plus 2 pi electron. But 
because in this case there is no continuous pi electron cloud in case of cyclic ring because in this case there is one sp3 hybridized orbital is also present that's why this is interrupted the continuous pi electron cloud in case of cyclopropene that's why this is not considered aromatic compound but instead of aromatic it is the example of non aromatic because it is not having the continuous pi electron cloud that's why due to that one it is not following the 4n plus 2 rule that's why it is example of non aromatic similarly if we are taking the example of cyclopropenyl cation in this case we can see that it is also having one pi bond which means it is also having two electrons and that is also follow the hacker rule that means 4n plus 2 is equal to where we are getting the n is equal to 0 that means it is having integer value but in this case as we can see there is a plus charge in the corner of cyclic ring that's why due to this plus charge delocalization of pi electrons can be possible in this ring that's why this cyclopropenyl cation will be of aromatic in nature as we can see in this case how delocalization possible in case of cyclopropenyl cation that's why it is aromatic in nature similarly if we are taking the example of cyclopropenyl anil in this case we can see that we are having four electrons two pi electrons are coming from one pi bond while two electrons are coming due to this negative charge that's why instead of following 4n plus 2 rule it will follow the 4n rule For, because it is following the 4n rule and is also cyclic in nature that's why we can say that it is the example of anti aromatic but because anti aromatic compounds are not stable as compared to the aromatic compound that's why theoretically it is not stable compound now come to the another example for showing that whether compound is aromatic anti aromatic or non aromatic we will take the another example that is cyclobutadiene here yeah, we can say it is the four anilines now question arises that what are anilines anilines basically are those compound which is mainly monocyclic in nature and in which single and double bonds are present in an alternate position and the number of carbon atoms present in the ring it will be represented in a bracket in case of aniline that is in case of cyclobutadiene as we can see there is made up of four number of carbon atoms and so that's why we have written here four in brackets so this represents the four aniline so these are the anilines now let us take the example of cyclobutadiene in this case we can see that it is of cyclic in nature and it also consists of two pi bonds two pi bonds mean it is having four pi electrons so it should not follow the 4n plus 2 pi electron but instead of following the 4n plus 2 rule it is following the 4n rule which is mainly utilized for the anti aromatic compound so as we can say that's because we are having four pi electrons in this case due to the presence of two pi bond so that's why this four pi electrons are the multiple of the four number we can get value n is equal to 1 so that's why this cyclobutadiene is also cyclic in nature planar or it is also having because its conjugation is in the alternate double bond single bond that's why pi electron cloud in, in conjugation that is there is a uninterrupted pi electron present above and below the this cyclic ring in case of cyclobutadiene so that's why this compound will be considered as a anti aromatic compound similarly if we are taking the example of cyclobutadienyl dication in this case we have we can see that it is only one pi bond that means it is having two pi electron we have, when we will apply in this case so we will get the value n is equal to 0 it means it should follow the 4n plus 2 pi electron rule similarly it is cyclic in nature and due to the presence of two plus charge at the corners of two corners of the cyclobutadienyl anion dication in this case delocalization of these two pi electrons can be possible over the ring and it will form a continuous pi electron cloud above and below the 
this cyclobutadiene dicatiene that's why due to the cyclic in nature planar in nature and following the 4n plus 2 pi electron rule that cyclobutadiene dicatiene is also considered in the category of aromatic compound now let us take another example of the compound to show the aromatic anti aromatic or non aromatic character of the compound we are taking another example that is the cyclopentadiene in this case we can see that it is a cyclic structure and due to the presence of two pi bond in this case number of pi electron present in case of cyclic ring it is equal to four number it means it is following the four n rule according to the number of pi electrons which is mentioned according to the four n rule it means there is four pi electrons these are the multiples of the four so it should follow the four n rule because it is also cyclic in nature and so it should be anti aromatic but because we can see clear sheet that in this case there is no continuous conjugation is possible in this case because in this case at this corner we are having sp3 hybridized orbital so due to this sp3 hybridized at orbital it is not having continuous uh, conjugation yeah we can say pi electron cloud is present in case of this ring so due to that one there is a uh, that do not have uninterrupted pi electron cloud in case of cyclopite pentadiene that's why it is not anti aromatic but instead of anti aromatic this compound is referred to as non aromatic because it does do not have the uninterrupted pi electron cloud present in case of this one similarly if we are taking the example another example is a cyclopentadienyl cation in this case we can see that it is also having two pi bond which means it is also possesses the four pi electrons and when we are putting this we can see that it is following the four n pi electron rule in which four pi electrons they are the multiples of the four that means and it follow the anti aromatic character similarly here in case of at corner there is plus charge so due to this plus charge there is a continuation pi electron cloud is possible above and below the ring so due to this continuation here we can say uninterrupted pi electron cloud present in case of cyclopentadienyl cation this compound can be the example of anti aromatic type compound similarly if we are taking example of cyclopentadienyl anyl in this case we are also can see there is also two pi bonds that means they are also having four pi electron in case of these two pi bonds similarly that is also carrying a minus charge on this case so two electrons are coming from due to this minus charge that's why total number of electrons are equal to six electron it is present in case of this cyclic system so that follows the four and plus two pi electron rule that that is equal to the hucker rule that means that compound is cyclic in nature because there is a continuous conjugation is possible with proper conjugation and it is also having six pi electron six electron that's why this compound follows the hucker rule that is 4n plus 2 electron or that means it is the aromatic type compound let us take some more example to show whether compounds are aromatic anti aromatic and non aromatic compound in this case we have taken the example of benzene that is equal to six anulene as we have already discussed what are anilines anilines are those compounds which are monocyclic in nature and in which double bond and single bond are present in alternate manner and the number of atoms present in the ring that will be represented in case of bracket so this is the example of six aniline that we are having benzene similarly we are all, we will also discuss seven member rings that is cycloheptra triene so first we are taking the example of benzene whether it is aromatic anti aromatic non aromatic so let me check ki in this case we can see that in benzene we are having three pi bond three pi bond means they are having six pi electrons plus it is also cyclic in nature continuation pi electron is also present above and below the ring that is there is uninterrupted pi electron cloud is present in case of benzene ring so due to the cyclic in nature planar in nature uninterrupted pi electron cloud present in case of benzene ring plus due to the following of 4 and plus 2 rule that is hucker rule this benzene ring is the aromatic in nature as we can see that when we are putting the value in case of this 4 and plus 2 rule then we are getting the value n is equal to 
which is integer value according to Huckel rule when n value we are getting integer value that will follow the 4 n plus 2 rule. Similarly, if we are taking the another example that is cyclohepatriene, in this case we are also having 6 pi electron due to the presence of 3 pi bond but similarly in case of this one we are also having at corner sp3 hybridized orbital is present so due to the presence of sp3 hybridized orbital it cannot follow the 4n plus 2 rule because it is not planar in nature so due to this non-planar in nature this compound is also non-aromatic in nature similarly if you are taking the example of cyclohepatriene cation it is also having 6 pi electron plus due to the presence of this electron at the corner we will see that it is cyclic conjugated planar and also following the 4n plus 2 rule so that's why due to the presence of cyclic conjugated planar rule it is also aromatic in nature let us take some more examples to identify whether compounds are aromatic anti-aromatic and non-aromatic type first take the example of cyclopentane in this case we can see that we are having only single pi bond so due to the presence of single pi bond number of pi electron present in case of cyclopentane it will be equal to 2 when we are applying 4 and plus 2 Huckel rule in this case then we will found that it will follow the Huckel rule because number of pi electrons due to that one it is having 2 pi electrons so that must follow the Huckel rule because also it is having cyclic so due to the presence of cyclic and following the Huckel rule that is aromatic type in nature similarly if you are taking an example of cyclopropanyl cation which is also have three member ring in this case we are also having single bond so due to the presence of single pi bond it is having number of pi electrons present in this case is equal to two pi electrons and plus at the corner we are having plus charge so due to that one continuous delocalization of pi electron is possible in this case so due to the presence of this continuous pi electron cloud that compound must be aromatic in nature similarly as we have discussed earlier this is the example of thiophene we have two pi bonds are present due to the presence of two pi bond number of pi electrons in this case are four plus two electrons are coming from the sulfur which is also present in case of along with the parallel orbitals with the p orbital present at the corners of the car ring so that's why total number of electrons are equal to six that is equal following the 4n plus 2 pi electron Huckel rule plus also cyclic in nature and continuous pi electron cloud is also present due to that one that is also aromatic in nature